Overdose vapes Keep your coils tight Keep your wicks wet If you're looking for new flavors I'm all up on the clouds, bro Filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub Only we boost for the juice While Trevor John Post viewed on the two And prepare for overdose Alright, so today we're looking at something uh, really cool It's the Combo RDTA Combo I joy made this. Yeah, yeah. Heaven Gifts is actually just sent it out to us. Heaven Gifts. Um, I mean, I knew a little bit about Heaven Gifts, not a ton. I had never actually ordered from them, and I still haven't actually ordered from them. So, um, so I don't know a lot about Heaven Gifts. Um, maybe some people can fill us in below in the comments section. But they're the ones who actually sent us this device. They sent me one. They sent Josh one. We've been using them for about a week. Tiny gifts from heaven. Tiny gifts from heaven, baby. <laughs> and so uh, today we're going to look at it and we're going to let you know uh, what we think about it. Because we've been using it, like I said, maybe even two weeks. Quite, yeah. a, quite a long time, actually. So. Yeah, but enough. We've used it enough to let you know what's going down, yeah, eh? Totally. Um, let's go up close and just get that out of the way. Look at all the stuff it comes with. Look at the device itself. Up Lots close. of stuff. Comes with all kinds of Lots shit. Lots of stuff, yeah. And I will let you know in the up close section what it all comes with. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll let you know uh, what we think about it. Yep, and give it an overall score. So here we Boom. are up close. This is the box that the Combo RDTA comes in. Um, it's a nice little box. It's got this cover on the on the side, you know, on the outside of the plastic case, showing you some of the different options that you can get uh, for decks for the Combo. Uh, quite a few different uh, deck um, variations that you can get. Um, here's the other ones on the other side. Uh, it comes with two decks. I'll show you what it comes with here. So you get a bag of extras, um, some Clapton coils, which is really nice. Uh, they might even be fused Claptons. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm sure it says somewhere on this box. Another drip tip, which is very nice. Different O-rings, uh, red O-rings, so if you want to change it up a little bit. Um, it comes with this. It's uh, pre-built coils that you, in a pre-built deck that you can go ahead and throw into the combo if you don't want to build your own coils. And you just want to throw this in there when you get it uh, to start using it immediately. Comes with that. Um, I have some different coil wire in there. Never mind that. Uh, comes with an extra glass piece, which I always love to see when you get a, a tank like this because, gosh darn it, I sure do break these things a lot. Um, all right, so here's a uh, 510 drip tip adapter for the top cap. Uh, it's really cheap filling. I mean, it's plastic. It doesn't even feel a dull and it feels like plastic, plastic. It does not feel very good. Okay. Uh, then it comes with your extra deck. This is a velocity style deck that it comes with. This is the extra deck that I got. And um, you get a couple screwdrivers here on the side, which is nice. It gives you actually more than one, which is cool. Um, okay, so that's the deck that, uh, the extra deck that it came with. The deck that I've been using is a goon style deck with clamps. Um, let me go ahead and go up close here. So this is the deck that I have been using on it. This is the, you know, the Goon style clamp deck. I got a set of fused Claptons in there. It has a hole in the front here so that you can fill it more easily. Because once you have it wicked, um, the, these holes, your wick holes here, you want to get the cotton pretty well, um, you know, uh, stuck in there. So there won't be a whole lot of room to fill it from the top. So it's cool that it has this little, um, you know, fill port here. Uh, I actually still fill it from the top most times, to be totally honest. Um, so yeah. You know, the deck itself feels really nice. The uh, the device feels really nice. It has a good weight to it, a good heft. Um, you know, in order to change the decks out, you just unscrew them. So, uh, you know, it's really easy to swap in and out the decks. The cool thing about it, really, though, um, personally, like I said, I've been using primarily the Goon deck, uh, the Goon style deck with the clamps. But, uh, you know, you can always throw a different build. If you had a couple different builds you wanted to use, you could throw a different build in here and um, swap them in and out which I think is a really cool little option and uh, is the saving grace of this device, to be totally honest. Uh, another downside is the top cap itself here, as you can see, um, it just feels cheap. It feels really thin, uh, very tinny, and the um, the wide bore drip tip that it comes uh, standard with feels very cheap as well. Uh, very thin plastic kind of a feeling. Um, just, not, just not great, you know, just not great build quality. Um, I, when I got it, it was very clean. It didn't have machine oil or anything in it, um, you know. So in that sense, it came very nice. But uh, I just think that the materials itself aren't aren't the best. But it looks very nice. Um, it's you know 
pretty big. It's the, you know, with the new standard, I think is a 24 millimeter, that's 25 millimeter diameter. So, um, you know, it's for your bigger devices. It looks really good on a Rouleau, uh, you know, stuff like that, 25 millimeter mech mods, things like that. Uh, it's hybrid safe. The 510 pin does stick out quite a bit, so you could throw this on your, um, you know, your mechanical mech mod. Mechanical mech mod. It's like a mechanical mechanical mod. You could throw this on your mech mod, uh, your hybrid style mech mods or mech boxes or anything like that, and you're going to be just fine. So, um, yeah, I mean, it has some pros, but I think that it also has some cons. Um, it has a tremendous amount of airflow. I mean, as you can see here, um, it's got a ton of airflow. We're back. Too much. How about it? Travis showed y'all a knick-knack, patty wax. Give a dog bone. Yeah, so like, like I was saying up close section, it's the main features are that it comes with like several different decks. Sure. Um, it gives you room to grow if you're buying this uh, this RDTA. Mm -hmm. Like you can just throw the, the pre-built in there to start with. And then, you know, if you're watching some videos and you get a little more comfortable, you can throw those Clapton's in, whatever, you know. Yep. It gives you room to grow. That's kind of cool. It is pretty cool. And I kind of like that. And if you have a specific deck, because it comes with like, like a, you ever saw, like the Goon style or the Velocity style. So if you have like one of those that you favor over the other, you can, you know, mix and, mix and match. So make some match. It's cool. And it's finally like, hey, and this isn't the first one to do it, but it's finally like that Velocity, or not the Velocity, <laughs> the Genesis style atomizer done right. Yeah. You know, get rid of the stainless steel mesh, use cotton. Use cotton and uh, Canthal and just your regular old bills, right? Yeah. So you're not going to be able to like sit this down. No, do it's, not. <laughs> it's not a tank in the traditional sense. This is an open deck. Yeah. You know, like you saw, this is like a Genesis style atomizer. You got your little build deck here, like a dripper. It will directly leak every ounce into your fucking. Uh, my lady made the mistake <laughs> of uh, she's running around with it one day and threw it in her purse, and that was no bueno. So yeah, it's it's. I would say it's a great uh, home tank. Mm. Indoor table tank, that kind of yeah. thing. Um, you know, great flavor because it's a dripper. I mean, let, let's be real. It's a dripper. It just, it, you know, it, it just sucks up the juice to your coils yeah. like a dripper would. I mean, um, but you don't want, you know, it, it's going to be a hassle. You take it out. You, it's going to make a mess. It's going to, you know, so many people know how to do it right. Um, I have a hard time. I like to be able to just set it on my car seat, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, you can't do that with It's this. a dripper with like a really deep deck. Yeah. Like and a, that's the best really way to think deck. about it. Like a really yeah. deep deck. Mm -hmm. Like a six mil deck. You know what I mean? Um, you can fit quite a bit of liquid in it. This one, I think it's probably 25 millimeters. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's big. Um, it's really big, yeah. And so, I mean, it's cool. Um, there are different decks you can get, too. They don't include them, but... Um, but they do include uh, two different decks, which is amazing. Yeah, and then you can get the IMC 5, 6, this one's included, the RDA base. Jesus. So, I mean, and I guess you can't just turn this into a straight RDA, I mean, but what they include with it is the uh, an extra glass. You guys saw it. all the stuff they include. Yeah, I saw all that shit. Um, um, so, what do you think? Limitless? Because the iJoy also makes the Limitless. Yeah. It's kind of the same idea. Yeah. Um, this has more options, but I also don't think this is well made. Right. I'm just going to be totally up front. Um, the top cap feels really chintzy to me. It feels like really thin metal. Yeah, it does fit well with those two O-rings, but you're right. The, when you, you take the top ring on itself, or the top the top piece by itself, it's pretty chintzy. It feels really chintzy. And the, and the actual um, top piece, like the mouthpiece, yeah. feels very, very cheap. Like like yeah. plastic. Not even like Delrin, but like plastic, plastic. Yeah, and I've got the other one in. It feels the same. It's just, it feels cheap. The whole, the whole thing is like just a little wonky mm. um, with the leaking and, the, you know, see the seemingly too much airflow. Um, yeah, because this guy, it's got dude, massive airflow. The bro. most airflow I've ever seen on a device. And that's yeah. totally, uh, being totally real. Um, yeah. I never close off airflow, but in this case, I close it off like more than halfway. Um, to get just some restriction. To use that airflow, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to be 150 watt. I mean, 120, 150 watts, man. If not more, <laughs> if not more, honestly. And you could do that, I guess. But you know, um, it's just a little wonky. Uh, for me, it's it's right there in between a dripper and a tank. So what do you do with it, right? I mean, my tanks are built for going outside, going to work, that kind of thing. In my car, I use tanks, and then if I want to drip, I kind of do that in my living room, chilling, bop bop bop. This is right in the middle, man. You can't really take it out. But, you might, you know, do you want to use a dripper? If you want a long-lasting dripper, it would work for that. Yeah. And, you know? you know, and it's this is like a new trend of this Genesis-style atomizer with cotton. Yeah. Things, other products that have come out, including, like, the Limitless, 
um, you know, RD, RTA that they that they have released themselves. This is just one that has a ton more features and a ton more options that you can get for yeah. it. Um, Come stock with a bunch of options. That's yeah, great. And that is great. Um, just personally, like like Josh yeah. said, um, there are other um, Genesis styles that I've been able to take with me outside. Yeah. If you if you wick it up right and all that shit, but this has like a filling port hole that you saw in right. the up close uh, section. So it doesn't matter how how much it'll you leak. stuff that cotton yeah. in those holes. It's, it's going to leak. leak, and it might, it'll leak slowly up through here to the to the yeah. the airflow holes. So it's just something that you can't take. You can't take it with you. No. <laughs> and so uh, that's a big downside because it's... personally, I work. I don't know if everybody works that's watching. I'm sure there's some people who don't, but yeah. I can't just stay at home all the time and vape this thing. And so it really limits its use for me. Yeah. Um, uh, and great desk tank. Definitely. Great home tank, uh, that kind of thing. But if you want it to be versatile and uh, be able to go any, anywhere you want with it, it's not going to happen. So I give it a three. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I wish that we did 3.5 because I think it's... Yeah, it's, me too. It is good. Um, and, and I do think it has a really good place and some people are going to love it. We can say between a three and a four. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So it's, it's there, right there, in between a three and it's a four. It's almost a four. Some people are going to fall in love with it, and yeah. uh, it's going to be a little wonky for others. Yeah, you know, I just don't have a lot of devices that are that it fits on. It would fit perfectly on a Rouleau. Yeah, it's a Rouleau-made It's a Rouleau-made device, device. And uh, I think if you have a Rouleau, I think you might really love it. Just yeah. personally, uh, I'm not super crazy about it um, for a ton of reasons that we just discussed. But I think it's good. I mean... It, it, it's a good device for somebody, just not really for me. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Bang, All right. Bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. Well, we want to thank Heaven Gifts for sending it out. Uh, we really appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, and we want to thank you guys for watching. Always. And uh, keep your coils tight. Keep those wicks wet, baby. I'm watching you.